Hey Pokey Peeps, we're back at it and I had some leftover videos from the Easter special that I did so I'm just going to go through those videos today and then we'll be back to our normal videos tomorrow. Okay, let's see what we've got. Alright, so we're leading off with our eggs because I thought that would be a good idea. He goes for a fake out there and we obviously flinch. Then he goes for a U-turn. Our Aguave Berry brings us back up to half. Hopefully our Harvest can regenerate that but it doesn't and then I stay in just go for a uh, Giga Drain thinking that I'm not going to go down to the flamethrower but I do. He stays in, goes down to the Earthquake and it's a big threat on his team taking out. I go into Mrs. Bunny here because looking at the other team she's the least useful uh, so I sort of use her as a little bit of death order there. Then I'm a little bit concerned but I think if I go into the Zoomeril it will work but he goes for a knockoff, which shows me that it's not scarfed or banded. Um, so I can then move a little bit more freely around that. I go for an Aqua Jet, do a ton of damage. I go for another Aqua Jet and take out the Necrozma. He's going to be playing his fake out for, uh, turns, which is a smart move. Uh, exactly what I would have been doing as well. But I'm sort of aware of that and I know that having some sort of, sort of priority or at least fast Pokemon at the end will be my win con. So I go into Mr. Easter Bunny here. I know that he's just going for a fake out because that's his move set. Uh, we go for a quick attack and take uh, a ton of damage off of him there. We go back into Azumarill now because we've got our Aqua Jet. We go for that. It does just under half for the Espeon. Uh, and then we go into our Chansey because we're not going to be able to take that out enough and I need that Azumarill for either uh, Pokemon that are left. He goes uh, into Incineroar here which is fine. I decide to go for a uh, Stealth Rocks just for a little bit of extra chip damage on other Pokemon and he goes for a Darkest Lariat and takes out. I don't think it really mattered but you know, who cares. Uh, we go for an Aqua Jet here, almost taking it out and then we can just go for another Aqua Jet now. I was a little bit concerned. I knew he was going for the Fake Out, so I went into Reboot thinking that that was a good idea. It didn't turn out to be terrible, but then I went for a U-turn, assuming for him to go back into Incineroar, which he didn't do. Uh, he just went for a Close Combat, which is terrifying. Um, he almost goes down to a Glyphor, but doesn't. We go into our Kid Bunny and go for a High Jump Kick here. And thankfully we hit and take out the Incineroar. Then he's got his uh, Mian Chao that comes back in, goes for a fake out, does a ton of damage. And then here it comes down to whether we're out speed or not, or hit. We do, we take it out, and then we come away with the win there. So I'm pretty happy about that game. And I've got another one, so let's see how that one goes too. Alrighty guys, we lead with our Reboot here, and he leads with his Mian Chao. I was expecting just a fake out, but he ended up going for a Poison Jab, showing me that he is Scarfed, uh, which is great knowledge to have. We go into our Easter Bunny now and go for an Earthquake. Um, Diggersby is really strong, so don't sleep on it. Uh, he goes uh, with a Scyther here. We go and knock off its Evilite, uh, and then we swip in, swap into Reboot, because, again, that was our least useful Pokemon on the other team. We go into Mrs. Bunny and just go for a Triple Axel here, which takes it out. Then he's going to switch into his Mian Xiao and go for a knockoff, which is fine. We just have the Focus Sash there, and then go for a Facade. Uh, we almost do half, but again, uh, Mrs. Bunny's not the strongest of Pokemon, so we don't really need to worry there. He then goes into his Edgy Slash, we go for a Thunder Punch, and he ends up taking us out with an Iron Head. We go into our Easter Bunny now, go for another Earthquake, he protects, again, that's fine. We go for another Earthquake, we get a crit, but it was going to take him out anyway. Again, like I said, Diggersby's super strong. He goes back into Mian Chao, goes for a knockoff and gets rid of our Guav Berry. I then double switch back into Cousin Bunny and go for a Belly Drum. And he goes for a Psychic there. Puts us in a great position. Aqua Jet's gonna knock that thing out and then he ends up quitting because yeah, there's nothing he can do after having Cousin Bunny set up its um, belly drum. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the last episode of the Easter special. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy today's video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, bye!